Hi friends, since Jain festival tradition is going on, I would like to share the recipe which I always cook during this occasion. That's gatte ka sabji. So let's start making it. Take one bowl gham flour, half teaspoon haldi, one and a half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon red chili powder. Half teaspoon hing and one and a half teaspoon dhana jeera powder. One tablespoon oil and add a little water. Knead a dough. Don't add too much of water because the dough needs to be really thick. So add as and when required. The consistency should be this thick. Now make small balls out of it, and then just roll it into a long strip. This long, and side by side, we'll just heat water, and we'll add around half teaspoon of oil. Let it get boiled. By that time, just roll it into long. Strips. Our water is boiled. Now we'll add the long strips in it. Don't forget to add little oil. Now let it cook for 15 minutes. I have allowed it to boil for 15 to 20 minutes. Now we'll just drain the water with the strainer and let it cool down for 10 minutes. After it cool downs for 5 to 10 minutes, we will take it and cut into small pieces. If you want big pieces, you keep it big. I am making small one. First, take 2 tablespoon ghee, let it heat. Once the oil is heated, you will add mustard seeds. After crackling, only then you will add cumin seeds. Then you will add hing. Add the gatta pieces. Then add one pinch turmeric powder, two teaspoons dana jeera powder, one teaspoon salt, two teaspoons red chili powder, half teaspoon garam masala, half teaspoon oregano, half teaspoon chili flakes. Now mix everything properly. Gatta sabji is ready. If you want the dahi gatta sabji, so we'll add buttermilk only before serving it. So I'm just adding around two to three tablespoons. The gatta sabji is ready. Our Pajushin special dish is ready. If you like my recipe, give a thumbs up and for more videos, subscribe to Simply Jen.